teaching my wife how to work with Tesla full self-driving. My wife's name is Kelly, the car's name is Kiki. The car is a 2024 Tesla Model 3 running FSD 12.3.6. The blue line tells you exactly what the car is thinking. The white chevrons tell you the car is slowing down. It takes Kelly a while to trust that the car will actually stop. Reading the blue line helps Kelly build confidence in the car. When using FSD you should be looking out the windshield most of the time, but glancing at the screen to verify the car is going to do what you expect it to do. All Teslas have 8 cameras. 5 looking forward and 3 looking back. Three of the forward-looking cameras are mounted behind the rear-view mirror looking out the windshield. In addition, rearward-looking side cameras, one mounted on each side, monitor rear blind spots, important for safely changing lanes and merging into traffic. When using the turn signal, the view from the rearward-looking side camera is displayed on the screen. Tesla blind spot monitors use cameras to see what you would normally see using the side mirrors. This camera view is shown on the screen when using the turn signal. When self-driving, the car controls the turn signals and uses them like most humans would. All new Tesla cars have the hardware needed in the future for full self-driving in almost all circumstances. The system is designed to be able to conduct short and long distance trips with no action required by the person in the driver's seat. When FSD is engaged, the car controls the accelerator, steering, and brakes. If the driver touches the brake, or applies too much torque to the steering wheel, FSD disengages. It is important that you do not accidentally disengage FSD. When FSD disengages, later in the video, you will hear a tone, and the blue line on the screen will turn gray. Fast forwarding past the boring stuff. This merge is a great example of how the 360-degree camera view helps the artificial intelligence drive better than a human. The artificial intelligence can measure the speed and distance of the cars in front and back, at the same time. The artificial intelligence can then adjust its speed to fit between the cars. Because there is no standard definition for good driving, people tend to use their own unique, individual definitions. 
So, a slow and cautious driver could have a totally different definition of good driving than someone who likes to drive fast and aggressively. A lot of disengagements are caused by FSD not doing what they would do, even when FSD is driving safely. Anyone who has taught teenagers to drive knows that eventually you need to accept that everyone drives differently.